Hello! In this video we will talk about Wikimedia. Let's start our lesson with an introduction to Wikimedia. In total, Wikimedia includes 12 databases or subprojects or aim to increase our knowledge through different methods. In the following, we have tried to select those platforms that can provide a useful starting point for collecting resources. If you would like to learn more about the Foundation and its mission, we encourage you to visit wikimediafoundation.org. The best known of Wikimedia project is Wikipedia. A multilingual, open content, open community edited word encyclopedia. But let's look at some other useful examples from the databases. Let's start our example with the dictionary. The dictionary is a multilingual dictionary with multiple functions. Dictionary of definitions, dictionary of synonyms, a dictionary of antonyms and a collection of sayings. It aims to include as many words as possible in as many languages as possible. For example, look up the term library. You can see that it analyzes a word according to different categories. Among other things, we can find different etymological meanings, its meaning as a noun, how it is pronounced, and its synonyms. Let's continue with Wikispaces. The aim of Wikispaces is to catalog all the animal and plant species on Earth that are alive or extinct. It is useful to know the Latin name of the plant or animal and also that the database is mainly in English. As an example, we show the datasheet of the blackbird, or in Latin means Tortus marula, on the wiki page. You can also find the exact taxonomic classification, description of the animal name in different languages, a photo of the bird, and an audio file containing the bird's voice. Let's continue with Wikisource. A wiki source is in fact a public domain library. It aims to collect free, open source text through voluntary and collaborative work. This means that it is a repository of various digital texts, such as novels, short stories, plays, poems, songs, letters, travel writings, non-fiction texts, speeches, and so on. Look for Charles John Huffam Dickens, for example. You can see, among other things, some basic information about the author, a list of his works, his works in various genres, works about him, and so on. Each linked piece of information takes us to a subpage. but you may notice that his entire career is not yet covered. Both on author page and on page of his works, you can see the public domain mark, which is this case in works on a global level since the author has been dead for more than 100 years. As the indication shows, Works that have been printed later may fall under copyright protection. Let's take a closer look at A Christmas Carol. You can see a picture of the cover, the title page, and the content. You have to click on a section to see extracts from the work. 
Wikiversity is a learning community. Collaborative effort of teachers and students to promote individual and collective learning. If you want to learn about a new topic, you can find information on Wikiversity or ask questions in the Wikiversity Colloquium or in real time via Wikiversity Discord. Let's look at medicine. You will find, among other things, a general definition of the meaning of this term, a source and a categorical breakdown of the different types of medicines. If you select the category, of course, there are also some branches that are not yet elaborated in details, as this is also an evolving branch of the Wikimedia databases, but it can be an interesting starting point for your research. Some pages is really detailed, too. Finally, as a special feature, we recommend Wikifandom pages, fun communities, which collect information about a film, book or series in a Wikipedia technology and layout. Examples include Game of Thrones, Twilight, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. You can find everything about Harry Potter in these pages. Thank you for your attention. Have a good search.